Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm joined by Jonathan. That is I. <laughs> if you don't know, Jonathan is my husband. We Hi. are wedded to each other. We are wedded. Hey, you know, this could be your first time watching us. Uh, you don't wear a ring though, so I don't wear I a wear ring. two. I, wear I have to keep my options of open. Us. Just in case. I, I wear enough. For, I wear one on this hand too, just so that. Oh, thanks. Thanks for that. Husband. Yeah, just in case. I do have a YouTube channel. Yes, he does. Maybe there'll be a link down below. You never know. I could be lucky. I always link to the vlog channel, so you know, up until now that was your channel, but now mm. Jonathan has another channel because he's doing um, diversing his own. St <laughs> I don't think that's a word. Is it that? Sounded diversing. like diversing. Diversifying. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so we decided we would do an assumptions about us tag video because we've never done that before. We've done I've done assumptions wow. about me. Ten well, years, you've never, never done, done an assumptions. Well, this is like a fairly new thing. Oh, okay. It came about when I think Instagram started doing them. Okay. But um, I just put it on Insta stories. I've just, I haven't even looked at these yet. So I'm just going to go with it. This is very like off the cuff and we'll just see what happens. First one. Okay. That the kids prefer Anna. <laughs> Damn it, how did they know? I feel well, like, as you know what, in fairness, One right? of them definitely doesn't. <laughs> okay, no prizes for guessing well, who. Okay, I think we can't answer that question. I think you I should can. do, no. <laughs> I can definitely answer that question. You should do an assumptions with the guys, right? And ask them the questions. Yeah, and they would say me every D time. No, I think it's fair. Except it's hard. for Andrea. No, I think. Three out of four prefer me, okay. and one out of four prefers I don't four think it's fair to you, okay? I think that, like, everyone has two parents. Well. You know, you never know how many parents we have, but like, I don't know, I don't know, we live in a time when you can't assume people have, you know what I mean, the status quo. You know, there are times when you like your dad and there's times when you like your mom and if you want to like... Who's your favourite parent? Answer right now. But I... You know, you have an answer. Who is your favourite parent, right, to go to the cinema with? It'll be me, right? Who is your favourite parent to put your outfit out at night? No, It'll be you. that is so. That's not even a Who's thing. Who's your favorite parent to cook dinner? It'll be you. Who's your favorite? <laughs> Who's your favorite parent on the whole? It there would is, be me. No, Emilia will say both. No, so Emilia. Emilia would say me. No, she would not. She said that if we got divorced, she yeah. Would be she me. just wants a phone. That's why she wants to get divorced. She just wants a phone. <laughs> Okay, well, look, there's no answer to that question, but I know for a fact that Andrea... <laughs> there's no answer, but we know for a fact that... Like, I was going to say, I know for a fact that Andrea prefers Jonathan. Because he's a little, you know, so-and-so. Jonathan doesn't help much around the house. Hmm. So that's actually not true. Um, I... Because, right, you have to remember, we've been living together for a really long time. Yeah. And our chores were always shared, like, from mm. the beginning. Now, the only thing that's changed is that now we have a cleaning lady. Mm. And so when we have a cleaning lady, Jonathan obviously doesn't help as much because he's paying somebody mm. else to help. I am just like very type A. I need to have mm. everything organized at all times. So I will just clean a lot, regardless. A lot of, of the stuff like that is baby. like, what do you but, like filming? Because of the vlog. Oh no, but I'm saying in real I life. know, but I'm saying because of the vlog, the perception of what we enjoy, yeah. it would seem <laughs> Based on the vlog, that I don't eat. Or that I don't garden. That you don't, don't, well you don't garden. Okay, so, let's just, let's just get that out there. But you know what I mean, it would seem like because I don't, there's loads of things I yeah, do yeah, yeah. that I no, don't but, fill them. So what I'm saying is like during lockdown when we had no yeah, cleaning yeah, help at us. all. Jonathan was I vacuumed very every day, handy I and it was just day. like how it was in the beginning. Yeah. We set our, these so, are task lists. I think, yeah, like I don't think it's a bad misconception or anything. I or definitely, Anna is the kind of person that does the pre-clean before the cleaner comes. Exactly. I'm the kind of person who goes, no, I'm paying someone to clean, I shall not clean. This came up a lot. Either one, like this one was probably more popular, but either one has come okay. up. Jonathan wants more kids, but you don't. Mm. And then I also got the other side, like I want more kids, but Jonathan doesn't, but more so that you do and that I don't. Huh. Well, we were talking about this, uh, we, went, we went through a stage, um, was it a couple of months back, where we flirted with the idea of having more kids. Like we kind of talked about it. I don't, know, I don't know what started, oh. A TikTok. Was it a TikTok? It was a TikTok. I showed Jonathan a TikTok with um, a family with six kids. Mm. They were grown up though. They weren't like, like our kids age. 
uh, they were like, oh, teenagers. is that the sibling challenge? Yeah. yeah and yeah, Jonathan yeah. was like, oh, that's so cool. If you said to me tomorrow that you wanted to like two more or one more mm. or whatever, I'd just be like, yeah, okay. okay, go for it. Or if you say to me, I never want any more kids, I'd be like, okay. Exactly. And it's not really my like, decision. It's like, just up to you. And mm, then I got really, um, conflicted about it. And I was, cause I felt like I, I never want to feel like I'm keeping someone from living their dream so mm. i didn't want to be in that position but i knew i was like battling with it for ages because i knew deep down that i don't want any more um and i think that i've just kind of made and then eventually i just we went back and forth for ages mm. and then eventually i just i was like i've made peace with it i i don't i don't want any more and i think i need to take make that decision for myself because at the end of the day it, it is me that's gonna carry whatever <laughs> baby yeah i'm just i'm so content like when i see mm. our four i'm so content i feel like i've reached a place now in my life where i'm not stressed out but i am also an aquarian yeah. who needs adventure yeah you know i need to like yeah, so I let's move think... country let's start a new business i don't let's think have a baby. Like, it has to be kids i think it <laughs> no, could no, be anything 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 that's why i anything. recently go like right fine when i have a kid let's let's flip the house let's buy a new house exactly let's, let's buy a new property so i can renovate it let's let's try i need a new, i started a new channel maybe that's why probably <laughs> i didn't get a baby that's fine why. i'll show you i'll eat pink food i've got you and jonathan have different religious beliefs and then I have mm. also got that we are secretly super religious. Ooh, secretly super SSR. <laughs> are you an SSR? Secretly super religious? Um, so I think that if we had different religious beliefs, we would probably not have worked out together. Where were you born? Were you christened? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't actually, it doesn't matter. Uh, so I was exactly. gonna, I was gonna say so everybody that's us... born in Ireland is like, Pretty much. Okay, again, that's a blanket statement. It's twenty twenty. Everyone from like I wasn't born in Ireland. Exactly. Everyone from my generation. I was, was born baptized in Ireland. in Ireland. Did you know that? Really? Yeah. As an Irish. Just friend. ran with each other. Where? How? Which way? I was like a few months old. Oh, an Irish fella in Baltimore. No. My christening was in Galway. How are we together? Didn't even notice. My mom was Irish. So you flew home. After you were born, you I left. Don't know. Were you born in California? No, you're born in Baltimore. Yeah. And then you flew back to Ireland. Well, not just for that, but I think they just did it there because obviously my mum's parents could be there. Oh yeah, yeah. Cause they were, oh, they were in Galway. Yeah, jeez, that's mad. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what's your name again? <laughs> back to the whole thing. So I feel like if we had different religious mm. beliefs, we just wouldn't have worked out. It's pretty. It's a pretty like big deal. Hmm. Um, I kind of like, I like, I personally like lots of different bits from all the different religions. Yeah, you know I, mean? I think so I kind of feel like it. The, okay, so just so you guys know, we're not really religious people no. behind the scenes. No. Um, that's never been a thing. I was christened and baptized as a Catholic as a child yeah. without my choice. I didn't choose to be it. But we are definitely like non-practicing Catholics yeah. for like But the same years, is like a lot of people ask the question about our children. None of our children are christened. No. And, they and do. we chose to do that for a reason. Like we we didn't not think about it. Like mm. we did think about it, but then we were like, it just seemed really hypocritical to do something that we don't genuinely believe. So in. My, my brother, I'm the godfather to my brother as kid. And I remember when he was being christened, we had to go, he was like, oh no, I need to go to the church and make friends with them and turn up. And then basically he got christened and then never went again. Right? And I'm like, but that's not the point. You know what I mean? It's like Holy Communion yeah. is just for to wear a white dress and go around and get money off your cousins and stuff like okay. that. And I'm like, I feel like, I know it's like all religions are different, but one, there is a religion out there. I don't want to mention any names and start any debates, but the religion, there is one out there that when you are like 10 or so, you choose if you want to enter that religion or oh, not. Yeah. I believe that, that if any of my, like all our children go to a school that teach religion mm -hmm. and they know about God and, and I'm about fine with that that hey, doesn't bother if me anyone, at all if any of them at some point come to me and say hey dad you know I really want to become a Jew I want to become a Muslim I want to become a Christian I want to become a Hindu I want to become a Buddhist whatever it is that you want to become go for it but make your own choice as to what spirituality you want and that's yeah. both of us are definitely spiritual yeah people. we are like you know? we're not atheists we're not mm -hmm. non-believers we just choose to, I guess, I guess, I guess just what 
what is important to me is kind of like just being i know it sounds really cheesy but like being a, a kind person mm. and being a nice person that's what i mean and all the different if you look a at a lot all of religions, different religions teach that i so. think in school they should teach all religion and then let people yeah. under instead of saying if you grow up and you only know one religion and then you you hear information on social mm -hmm. media or the news about this one's bad i'm like well hold on a second how do you know that one's bad maybe that's the one that speaks to you yeah like then, i found a lot of things about um about like when i started doing meditation and stuff mm, like buddhism mm. is that how you say it Bud yeah mark manson from buddhism. the art of not giving a Woo! has a great story about buddhism <laughs> we can't say it I know. so we're clearly not buddhists but um i feel like a lot of their teachings i i really agree with so i think what jonathan said but we are spiritual people yeah i don't believe that I, i'm not an atheist um i'm just i don't really like subscribe to any mm. religion some people were saying Anna is the stricter parent and then other people were saying uh, Anna is actually the more lenient parent. Ooh. So which one do you Makes think it is? Make your bets folks. Who do you think it is? I oh, feel like... Boy, I, 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 I. Where's my slipper? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this one's really interesting mm. because... Again, you um, should ask the kids. I would love... We should, you should do... Oh, they would say me. Oh my god, yeah. Sure yeah, but me. it would be so funny. Right, and then if the answers are terrible, we just delete the video and we never post it. So we may actually film this and never post it because they've put they've thrown us in it. But like to ask them, would. yeah, <laughs> ask them those questions. Well, I I know for a Let's fact. Let's take this morning for example. <laughs> I know for a fact that they would probably say that I'm the stricter parent, mm. and I don't have a problem with that actually because I made the decision be even before having kids that. I don't want my kids to, I would rather my kids not like me mm. <laughs> as a mother than them be total brats. Yeah, well, that's all my own, I'm, you know, don't, I'm not your friend, I'm your parent. Exactly. Parents. And you're like that too. I am, um, like everything, right? I don't sweat the little things. No. I don't give you out don't. to the kids about the but, little things. I don't but, freak out. But the big things. The big things he's strict. And yeah. actually, he's a lot stricter on things like food. Mm. Which sounds stupid because mm. you just did the pink food challenge. But actually, mm. in, in real life, like generally, I am quicker to like give them things. He's like, oh, that's too much sugar. That's too much chocolate. And I'm like, it's fine. You know? So, I don't know. Mm. It's a mixture. But the, it is a mixture. The small like... You know, the kids like all day long these Making stupid things and fighting with each other. You're quicker to like yeah. step in with that stuff. Whereas I'm more just like, I can just tune out the noise. Yeah, but yeah. there have been times when Jonathan's lost it. Mm. Very, very few. And uh, the one that always comes to my mind is when after we moved house and you couldn't find a, a spoon. spoon. <laughs> and Bloody that spoon. was the funniest day of my life. Like that was actually, I was like, I'm glad that was the funniest day of my Because he lost it completely. And all the kids were like huddled around me. I think I was breastfeeding on the sofa. There was boxes everywhere. We just moved. We were trying to do the school run and he couldn't find a spoon. And he threw a chair across the room. And they were all like petrified because they'd never <laughs> seen this before. But can you imagine? We have lack of sleep because we've got a new baby. We've just moved house. I'll probably in business crap. We, work oh my stuff, god, there like, was so much going boxes, on. Boxes like everywhere. And we it moved was from chaos. a seventeen hundred square foot house to a seven thousand square foot house. It Couldn't was anything. It was mental. chaos. But it was the funniest and I just remember like yeah. crying with laughter because he was losing it for once instead of me. Yeah. And it's it very was just, rare. Yeah, it, it happens but. like once in a blue moon. It happens but. every now and again. I'm just like, ah! It was so funny. <laughs> Over a spoon. You right. both secretly have a favorite child. <laughs> <laughs> again, I think it'd be funny. Okay, on three, right? We say, you say my favorite child, and I'll say your favorite child. Oh, okay. All right? I don't have one, though. We'll see. I'm the mom. I can't we'll have see. one. see. Okay, fine. One, two, three. Like, Jonathan, we can't put that know, out there. Put, what do you mean? That's horrible. You just, so it's okay for you to say I have one, but it's not okay for you to have one? Anna wears the trousers, or you wear the trousers in the relationship. Is that not the same as the strict one? Oh, I mean in no, our relationship. No, in our relationship. Um, again, same as the kids. I think I make the big decisions, and you make the day-to-day -day yeah, decisions. Yeah, that is so true, but 100% no. It might look like that. 
Again, because I don't... But definitely... I don't care no. about what food we buy. I don't care. Yeah, you're about, right. I don't care. Those things, those day-to-day -day things that you wear the trousers for, right? It's because I don't care about those things. So I just go, yeah, just go along with yeah, it. But, but when about, I say... What about moving countries? Yeah, or, big decisions, you know, big business, business decisions, big decisions, family decisions, what we're going to do, I, we're selling this house, we're But it's not house, like I, I didn't have a say. It's mm. just that... Sorry, I'm just literally dying on the floor. Mm. My legs are asleep. Uh, it's not that I didn't have a say or that you don't have. In fact, I'll always come to you, even for yeah. silly things yeah, that yeah. you don't care about. And I'm like, what do you think about this? I think we just have like a mutual respect for each other. Mm. But no, like I, I know I have seen and witnessed other couples where mm. there's definitely a one of one of the people wears the trousers in the relationship and the other doesn't. I and think we I met, think that's like an we had imbalance. The same, yeah, we had the same from the day we met. We were just equals. We both had the same desire. We both had the same goals. We both had the same, you know, end in sight. And we've always done that. So, so when I make decisions for you, not that like, I don't make decisions for you, but when I've made the decisions for us, I know whether it's a decision you will uh, agree with or not. You know? So it's not like I'm like, oh, you know, I think we should, you know, move to Japan. Mm. You know, I know you're going to be like, oh, I'm not going to say that. You know what I mean? But if I think about a decision that I think that we should make together, like what we were recently talking about, you know, possibly big change in our life, you know, yeah. um, we both the same. We always just take I would just be like, others. oh yeah, okay, yeah, cool, let's do that. Yeah, here's one. <laughs> the fact that you laughed beforehand <laughs> has excited me. Anna likes the dogs more than Jonathan. Correct. It's not a, no. It is true. Oh, at least they can't read or right hear. It is true. Read. I, Why would they be reading? So during lockdown, I took on the role as chief dog walker. Okay. Oh, come on. No, you no, no, no. You just used that as a way to get into running. No, no, no. No, no. Actually, I do say that the dogs are, and I thank them for, it was, <laughs> it was me walking them every day for like seven weeks. And then I started getting bored on the walk. You're fucking welcome. <laughs> I started getting bored on the walk, so I started running on the walks. And then, yes. Then I fell into running because of the dogs. But I do enjoy them, but there's only so much. He enjoys four of them. I'm the one that feeds them usually. I'm the one that groom, like I don't groom mm. them, but I'm the one that will look after them in that sense. I'll brush them out, I'll take care of them. Um, I, I organize their walks, like, you know, that kind of thing. But I don't know, I think, then sometimes I, I get really angry at them if they mm. make a mess. I put them to bed every don't. night. No, well, I did, again, it's like the kids thing, like everything. I don't sweat the small stuff. Yeah, I think that's ever. what it is. And but you sweat all the small stuff. Both of us always wanted lots of dogs. Yeah, no, I don't regret it. Hey, look, our decision, you know what I mean? Yeah. They still they still hit me up about the Harlem Shake, our first ever viral video. And we always said before we even had kids yeah. that we wanted lots yeah. of dogs. So. I just didn't, in that scenario, I never imagined of having loads of kids. I know. Okay, I just thought like, oh yeah, I'll have dogs and it'll be it's great. Fine. There's two. This one came up quite a bit. Uh, either you never fight, mm. you've never had an argument longer than a day, Ooh. you guys, uh, hardly quarrel or you've been on a break or broken up in the past never been on a break never been on a break never broken up i have had a relationships where we've done the breaking thing and it's, really it's basically it's over yeah it's like you're putting a bandage on a, on a wound that will never i've done be that healed. too and it never goes back to no. how it was maybe it did for you but i'm just I saying like it. if trust is broken a relation a marriage is all based on trust mm -hmm. and that's it like it's like we're trusting each other, and it's not like we're like Anna can go out with a, with a load of guy models for the weekend. <laughs> Why would I? I don't know, but I'm like I have no jealousy, not jealousy, but and I'm vice worry. versa. Jonathan, all my friends are girls. All of his friends are girls. I go out with girls to to clubs. Everybody we've ever with. worked with yeah. has pretty much been a woman. He goes out with other women yeah. sometimes, and I don't. I genuinely don't care. Like. I just because the commitment there's is no deeper jealousy than like will you, will you go with me? Yeah, Do you know what I mean. You've got a life, a family, children. Are you gonna throw all that away? No one's throwing that away. Like, but know. I feel like with the fighting thing, I would say yeah, yeah we Every no day. obviously we do argue, but I I think yeah, it probably we don't have like big arguments. No, we argue about petty, stupid things. You go through sometimes. stages. A marriage 
is not easy. No. You know, you're committing to share your values, my values, and Anna's values, and they, they clash sometimes, and you know, but, but at like, the core, it's the same. No, I know we, we probably have don't have fights. Sometimes we have slept on a fight, but I've never had a fight that lasted more than a day. We slept on a fight sometimes, but then the next morning, neither of us can really even remember what it was about. So yeah. It's just over. A lot of sometimes you're, when you've got children and stuff, you're having a fight and then the kid comes into something stupid and that's the end of the argument, yeah, you know? Exactly. And a lot of times it's just stupid things, like just, you know what I mean? Life thrown, like, you know what I mean? Like everyone has problems. You get problems every day, like, you know what I mean? Every, some people have better problems than other people. You know, it's like money problems. Some, some people have money problems, some people have good money problems. The richest man in the world has money problems, but they're good money problems. <laughs> and a homeless guy in the street has money problems and they're bad money. You know, it's like everything in life is like based on your situation it's all scenario. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, so. Well, we have had arguments. I don't know what our worst argument ever was. I don't know. I can't remember. Like, I, I do know that when know. we, after about two weeks after dating, Anna was in my uh, flat and she stole one of my Kit Kats. You know, yeah. and I was pretty serious. Like that was touch and go at the start. That was probably like, one of our first. <laughs> <laughs> there were a few being like, you actually are best friends. Yeah, I think that's where that is. Have you fought sure. with your best friend? Obviously, because yeah. we okay. One thing about us, we're both very passionate. Yeah. Right when we're like set in our ways, you know what I mean. But then when you've been together as long as we've been together, right? And I think that you could say like, if we've done this long and we've overcome. We got married, which was a, a total shambles, but we did it. We did it together. We went through four births together. We went through a miscarriage together. That like happened in my arms. I was holding you, with your blood everywhere. I picked mm -hmm. you up and brought you to the toilet. We took the stuff. And we were like, we had times when we were actually laughing yeah. during that. Like we no. made it through because we, you mm -hmm. made me laugh sometimes when it was so awful. Yeah. And I wouldn't have been able to do, like I do remember it, you just making me laugh because <laughs> I was like waddling like a little penguin trying not to get any like blood on the on the carpet. Yeah, and then right. he kept making me, and I was like, don't make me laugh because if you make me laugh, it gets worse. Stuff's gross, yeah. Oh and then like gosh. think of all the stuff, the but, experience we've had on usually traveling the world together, meeting crazy, putting scenarios, the amount of like online hate that we've the trolling, experienced. The trolling actually, in a way, I mean, it's it's terrible that. to say, but <laughs> there is nobody else. I know I don't know anybody else on the planet that gets it mm. as much as Jonathan does. Yeah. Like, I could get an email about something or a message or a letter or something, and it could to do with trolling. And I would, if I told, like, even my, my mom is probably the most sympathetic person mm. to all of that, but, or my best friend, or I could tell anybody, but none of them will understand the way Jonathan will. Like, if I took that letter or that whatever news to him, he would, I just know that you react inside in your core mm. the same as me. You know the pain, you know the, the suffering that that brings, yeah. you know the, just you know at the core what that feels like to be trolled. But from the time and when someone keyed your car or sent those letters yeah. or we've been to the police and it's been to all the been done, together. We've done it all together. And there's know? been so many times as well guys where things have fallen through or people have been disappointing mm. and relationships have ended, contracts, business. Yeah you know and we've I mean? gone through all it all together up. and come so, out the other side. But we don't broadcast. We broadcast and did no, not. No, but I mean, uh, like, you know, we've met so many people in this mm. in this crazy so career. So many people have messed us over. Yeah, and yeah. and so many times it's just like the only person that I could ever rely on was always Jonathan, and yeah. hopefully vice versa. You know, like that's what we always say. Hey, look, we built this together. Yeah. You know, we'll burn it down together. <laughs> yeah. But it is true, and it's like yeah. I hope that our our children, yeah. you know, and that's, that's the best thing about that. having kids, right? You get to mold a human. Yeah. Right, and I, you know, it, it's it. I haven't had an easy upbringing. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I but it makes me more. Um, I think I'm a. I think I'm a nice person today because of the pain I experienced as a child. Yeah. The things I had to overcome. I've never been entitled. I've never had an easy going time. I've worked through everything I have. So therefore, when I see my children in front of me, I go, you know what? I am not going to add to the <laughs> population yeah. of this planet. I am going to bring these four human beings 
good human beings. Yeah. And we're going to mold them like that and put them out into the world. And they're not going to upset other people. Yeah. They're not going to put more hurt and pain into the world. They're going to be good people. Yeah, that is our number one goal with them. I don't care. I don't really care about anything. Not else. raise. <laughs> Parent of the year. Uh, and on that bombshell. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed, and hopefully, we answered some of your assumptions that you had about us. Who knew you were christened in Galway? I know. Huh? Look at me learning things about you. <laughs> So thank you for watching. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this, if you'd like to see more Jonathan content on here and we will see, well, I will see you again on Monday. Bye. Bye.